Hi, welcome to the video of Rosa. This is everything, and we shall begin of drawing Glaceon. So first draw a diagonal line down. Well, first draw kind of like a diamond thingy. Then, draw another one. Draw a line up, going from one side. And then, draw a line down. So it's like, it's basically like the L, uh, letter L tilted. And then, do that same thing but upside down. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Now do you have all three plates on the head? Draw a line connecting all of them. Draw a line connecting all of them. And then draw a diagonal line out of one of the plates. Then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now do a V. Do a V at the end. Like, do a V at the end here. Don't mind my mom. Then connect the back up with a straight line. Same thing on the other side. So you have this, the Glaceon's ears and head plates. And then draw, do the same V at the bottom, but do it backwards. Um, so let's have this. Okay, after you finish that, You can draw a line down coming out from the ears, but stop. Do the same thing on the other side. Good. Draw a diagonal line down, like a V, but you don't connect it. You don't connect it like a tip. Then do, do a rainbow line to continue and plug from one side to the other. Have it like this. Okay. Then draw another tiny rainbow, tiny rainbow line in that in that one. Okay. So we have this for her eyes and color it, color in the the color in the out color in it the eye but leave the tiny 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 the tiny oval white okay we finish that and i <coughs> excuse me you check what glaceon looks like oh this is Okay, then draw a tiny, draw a tiny triangle, like a really tiny one for her nose, under her eyes. Then, the line coming out, the straight line for one part of her mouth. Then, draw a rainbow line, not going all the way. But going, leaving a bit line out. Okay. Then draw a tinier, tinier line in there for a tongue. And color on the outside. Okay. 
Okay, we finished. We finished our head. Now there are two lines coming from those empty spaces on the bottom of our head. Then curves coming out like that. We're gonna make her sitting down. Then draw a line going straight down. So we have it like this. Then we'll draw a curve kind of at the end for that. Wait for the picture. You can always wait for the picture. And then curve it back in. Curve it back into that line. Then add three toe marks. I mean, no, two. But it's okay if you added three. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, don't connect it back into the line. Don't connect it back into the line. If you already did, that's fine. But it's actually supposed to be like this. If you're using pencil, great. You can just erase that connecting there and just do that like this. If you're using permanent marker, just go with it. And then, okay, draw a big oval U that doesn't connect to the leg on both sides for her back legs. Then, do the same thing as you did with the front legs. Oh, Blake Scott has things on her feet, so the triangle's going up on each of them. Here's a closer look. Okay, almost finished Glaceon. Got a curve from one line to the other for the body. Then, then at her tail, do a straight line coming out. Do this. Do the same thing that you did with her ears. If you forgot how to do the if you forgot what the ears are like, this tails are just her tail is just like the her, her tail is just like her ears. Okay, we finished lacy on. Yeah, we finished lacy on. Now it's time to color. Color her. Then, oh. So you need, and you also need a spare pink for her tongue. I have these, all of these cool colors. Some people think pink is a hot color, and some people think pink is a cold color. I, I call it a cold color. Uh, I don't know what I, I actually call it both. And it doesn't really matter, but anyway, back to drawing. Okay, color her head plates dark blue. And I have a meeting for someone at the end of this video. And I might forget it. If, if I forget it, don't blame me. I just forget it. Also, go to the tips of her ears, dark blue. Also, the, the inside of her feet. And I'll show you, show you a quick peek after I do this. Thank you. Oh, and the end of her tail. So, these are all the things you're going to be coloring dark blue. And color and color the rest of them light blue. Besides the tongue. And if you're coloring with marker, 
for the leg. You won't you won't see that you won't see that mistake. I'm gonna go on without you, but at the end, pause the video and color. And I don't know how to fast forward, so just go with it. You can, if we're doing any random color, like like any like random color, not li not like realistic, just just color right now. People are going realistic. I'll try to go as fast as I can. Oh, by the way, also color her nose. That's good too. Good. Our my place down is a bit dark, but you can color it. But you can color it whichever type of blue you want. And I'm I'm just shouting out for Dahlia. One of this is one of her favorite Pokemon. So in her honor, I want to draw this. A blue for her. Just go by the flower. So, this is our second video of Eris' Everything. And I am I'm glad we started it. And I am going to go over the lines again to make it look darker. And I'm, I'm also going to add a background. So stay tuned at the end of this video too. If you want to eat, if you want to meet my, if you want to meet someone. If you don't, if you don't have time, let's go on. background <coughs> so, is red for whatever you think what is the Pokemon simple Pokeball, the Pokeball of course how long is this video? Oh, 13 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's poke the last one Well, so sorry about that. And I'll do a background later, but red 